Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having an unbelievable weekend so far. Uh, hope that you close it out strong. Uh, whatever it is you did over the weekend and are doing today, I hope that you're enjoying it and have enjoyed it. Uh, I am going to just drop in on you real briefly. I want to talk to you about something I think that goes in the line of the things that I am consistently uh, sharing with you guys, hoping that uh, the seeds land on fertile soil and uh, take root and that you guys take it and do something with it. Um, in the description box are the links uh, to where you can donate, you can share your love and support for the work we do at the Odyssey Project, the Black Voice, uh, and so much more. Um, for those who want to support our work, uh, for th more than 30 years, I have invested in developing an understanding of how things work. Uh, for every ill in the community, there's a cause. Causality should be the focal point of every uh, point of research, every fight and, and search for solutions should, should be in the quest to identify the origin, the source, the cause. And so that's been my goal. Identify the problem, find the origin, create solutions. I've done that my entire life. Um, whether it's been in my business, whether it's been um, as a fighter and advocate for black advancement, black empowerment, I've done it consistently. And when I am asked um, on the spot, the greatest ill of the black community, and there are so many things that are wrong, and yet you put on the spot and someone says, tell me one thing, if we get this one thing straight, it will, in a cyclical process and a progressive process and a systematic process, improve everything else. And I say we would have to address the identity crisis. We suffer from a collective identity crisis. I have written on it. I have done papers on it, studies on it. Uh, it's It's been one of my pushes. Uh, the, uh, my 19th book, Born in Captivity, is about the identity crisis primarily. Uh, my 23rd book, The Undoing of the African American Mind, is about the identity crisis. It is about the understanding that the way that we were successfully subjugated was to rob us of our identity. Not in the simplest of forms, but in a very systematic and catastrophic way. We were robbed of our history. We were robbed of our names. We were robbed of our values, our interests, and our principles. These things that had served us for years and propelled us in the perpetuation of the things that mattered most in our culture were taken away from us. Well, then there was the superimposition, the imposing of another culture, another idea, another identity that was not meant to serve us. And in the time that we were subjugated and under the press of this particular new identity, we lost ourselves. The griots were killed off. The warriors fought to escape and either died or succeeded, leaving those behind to be uh, at the whim and the the force of someone else's designation of who they are. This is why we seek approbation and approval from a system we know is oppressing us because we don't know who we are. lost 
ourselves. We lost our name. We lost our understanding. While we are highly religious, we've lost our spiritual connection to God because we're not executing the very force and divine power within ourselves to show that we are connected. We are practicing religious ritual, but we have lost spiritual sight. And it's because we have lost our identity. When you take a person's value, their interest, their principles, when you rob them of their name, which has historical uh, context, which has uh, historical value, uh, when you rob them of their identity and their relationship and their direct way of dealing with God, and you superimpose a system that highly favors you, you you put them in a perpetual state of subjugation and compliance because they know no better. When I don't know my name, I'm looking for someone to tell me who I am. When I don't know where I come from, I'm looking for some place to belong to. When, 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 when I have no idea of my role, I will let someone else give it to me. I will let someone else establish what I should expect from myself because there's no systematic impression of who I am. And it, and it starts early in life and it carries on. We have a responsibility to our, our ourselves, to our progeny, uh, to raise up generations who know who they are. If you want to deal a mighty blow to racism and systemic oppression uh, of black people, inform black people who they are. Take the ambiguity out of it. Impress upon them the power within their history, the power within their genetic makeup, the power within their natural, super uh, spiritual prowess. And, and, and then say, this is who you are. You don't need white approval. We search for validation in a system because the system created the environment in which we operate. And we believe the only way to operate within the system is to be validated by those who control it. And the only way to get out of that is to understand who we are and realize that we have the capacity to create our own system. Look, here's, here, here, here's my final thing. Nobody's going to magically come up with a, an idea to say, hey, we've oppressed you long enough. It's been X amount of years, we 400 plus years since 1619 that we've oppressed you, that we have violated your rights, that we have robbed you of your space in this world. Here it is. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody's going to sit up and say, you know what? We, we, we built our wealth on the back of your ancestors. Here you go. This is the compensation for that. I'm not saying that we won't ever get reparations. I'm saying that they will not voluntarily give it to us solely based on the idea of moral standing and moral responsibility. It will be because we have developed the power to demand it. It will be because we have discovered who we are. It will be because we have refused to back down and we won't let them rest. We won't let them live. We won't let them um, experience the comfort and, 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 and uh, treasures that they've been experiencing. We are starting to take what belongs to us. And that comes from an awareness of who we are. And so when I'm asked that question, there are so many things I could talk about incarceration. I can talk about uh, the destruction of the black family. I can talk about poverty. I can talk about this. I can talk about so many different things. But at the end of the day, if we fix this identity crisis, everything else will start to self-correct. It is the identity crisis. It is through this identity crisis that they manipulate us. They keep us at odds with one another. They keep us chasing the wrong things. They keep us pursuing empty things. We, we're, we're chasing red herrings constantly because we don't know who we are. On that note, look, I'm going to get out of here. I just had to drop that in. Uh, so I hope that you guys really take care. So 
on this on this note, I'm gonna get out. Uh, if you believe in what the work in the work we're doing, go to the description box. Look at the top. It'll tell you how to show love, how to donate, how to support. On that note, I'm out of here. Take care. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. I'm free to be whoever I want to be.